Du toi. <laughs> Un, deux, trois. Mm. Hey, I, can't, I forgot how to say welcome in French. Hello, you know? bonjour. <laughs> bonjour, uh, bonjour. Bonvenue. Bienvenue. 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 That's our guest, uh, Dane Baptiste. This is Ain't Got a Clue. I'm K Kurt. I'm Marcus that is Bronze. Marcus Bronze. He is a, uh, a G. Um, anyway, thank you for all the love you've been giving on the previous episodes. Mm. We've had some funny episodes, man. Yeah, uh, man. And you're probably listening to this while you're in that slumber. Between Christmas and New Year's, what isn't day it? is it today? I don't even know what day it is today. You know uh, them ones. I mean, it, I don't even know. Is it the twelve drummers drumming? <laughs> like one of them. Is that the one? Is F- that like five golden rings? Uh, so, so how's how's your Kwanzaa been? My Kwanzaa, no Kwanzaa. Um, <laughs> I think mean, it starts at Christmas and it's like a week. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, but that's what rubbish. I mean. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Your Kwanzaa, the, bro. The, the run up to Kwanzaa has been has been pan Afrotastic, mate. Pan Afrotastic, and it's going to be a Kwanstravaganza this year, boy. Kwanstravaganza. Uh, do you know what? Someone should do that, man. Like, even a live show or something like that, just do a Kwanstravaganza. I, why don't you rent out a restaurant and do a Kwanzaa that thing? Gig? No, no, no. Just like, as in, like, for the man them to just come and then. I would do that, you know. I'm working on it, trust me. Like, yeah. I'm not sure how, I think, like, Kwanzaa... Do you, don't you find it a bit disrespectful thing. when people wear, like, the, the shiki and that, and you're like, that's not, that's not your thing, bruv? I mean, I, I, it's not, I don't know if it's my thing per se, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know my exact uh, kente print myself to be pointing a finger at other people, but... So. Would you wear kente, given that you're Nigerian? No, I wear Agbada, bruv. I don't wear kente, bruv. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's Agbada, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. If you're given your Nigerian roots, you wouldn't wear kente. Kente is a... Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd wear Agbada, yeah, that's fine. There we go. So, for involved. the Patreon, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you sign up to the Patreon, we'll tell you your Agbada print right now. Marcus Bronzy will send you Agbada prints uh, for £3 a month, which is less than a price of call. What can you get for £3, Dave? Uh, chicken burger and chips. In what? Show me! Yeah. <laughs> Bring what, me in, bro. If you're in London, <laughs> if you're in London, you're turning up the volume right now. Talk to us, Dane. Go, go, go. Chickish burger. And yeah. <laughs> Listen, I think I feel like you get like a kids meal. You can't even get a chicken burger for three pound these days. Chicken no, burger. maybe not. No, maybe not in London. All right, in Bradford, you can get a chicken burger. And I don't even yeah. think there you can as well. You know, uh, you probably can. I mean, bro, inflation shouldn't. has made. Ch- like the price of wings because you used to be able to get like five wings and or six wings and chips sorry yeah, yeah, for like yeah. a decent price now it's like that's true. sorry boss five wings uh, for three pounds and you're like fi- five mm-hmm. that's not an even number bruv three pounds is like a, a three pound is like a stick of chewing gum on an easy jet flight but you know what you can yeah. get for three pound mm-hmm Ain't got a clue Patreon. Hell right? yes. And you get S- sounds like extra, a bargain to me. <laughs> yeah, you get an extra episode. You mm-hmm. get people like Dame Baptiste spitting the realness mm-hmm. on the Patreon mm-hmm. rather than here where he's like censoring himself. When he's yeah, over believe there, it or not, this is oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a censored version you're getting right <laughs> yeah. now. <laughs> that is where if you want to hear all the all the smoke, yeah, yeah. that come to the Patreon, innit? Uh, <laughs> and and you you get everything ad free. Episodes early and an extra episode every week. That's right, and man. it's all lovely, jubbly. We've got loads of patreons there kicking it, and in the process, we get to pay off all this equipment that Manga was pricing up. Fuck. <laughs> 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 yeah, last episode, Mango was like, "Oh, these lenses. That's that. That's that." He was doing ding, 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 ding. Yeah. No. bro. He was even going, "Oh, yo, that light switch over there is all right." You know, yeah, bro. Yeah, he, was, yeah. he was he was on to every yeah, single like, figure. Oh, is that Philips Hue? Listen, bro, <laughs> we're in debt. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You are. You are. In, you've invested. That's all yeah, that is. No, 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 no. We are in debt. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what investment is a lot of time. Cause... That's yeah. it. Say. Elon's like invested. We're like, yeah, we're in yeah, debt. Exactly. Um, do you know what's mad about the Patreon as well? I've noticed a lot of people that join Patreon have never been on Patreon before. So if you've never been on Patreon, yeah, don't Now's worry, time, bruv. Yeah. It's easy to also, manage it. Navigate it. We're better it. than Netflix. 100%. We're so, better than Netflix. Because you, you, yeah? Mm. Like, wh- have you been on Netflix? Yeah, a long time ago. Though. Yeah, exactly. But in 2022... <laughs> mm. 2023, yeah. Dane Baptiste is on our Patreon. He's not on Netflix. You can't find him on Netflix. You can't find him on Netflix. Right, we can't, can. not, not, you... these, not these days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> old, old Netflix, but it makes sense to be on Netflix. This new Netflix now. <laughs> new Netflix is a different thing. This this vertical Netflix, I'm horizontal Netflix. <laughs> now they've, done, they've done an update now, so it's, it's all, it's all it? vertical it? now. Yeah, the, the profiles. So How long now. do they start signing podcasts, though? They could do that. That could well, happen, they, they, they've got that like ad version, yeah. Do you know what? I, I reckon that we are about six months away from that being an, an ick for women. What? Like, if you've got the ad version of Netflix, 
<laughs> what do you mean that? Like, you're trying to chill. You go like, to a house babes. and it's just like... Yeah. And then Notebook, it's just the like... notebook's about to play, but it stops. Have you <laughs> paid your taxes? <laughs> you know what no, 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 no. Yeah. It was just me like that Pepsi Max advert. <laughs> 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 like, it's just that yeah. brum you singing that rap, bro. That's what you're yeah, 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 yeah. She's looking at you like, I thought this was Netflix. Yeah, yeah baby, it's the... Uh, don't worry, man, yeah. don't worry. What? Well, <laughs> uh, uh, do you know what? It's, it's certain... If you look at the hierarchy of streaming services, yeah, I think... Is, is Netflix still number one? They're all oh, fighting right now. They're uh, all having a mad streaming, fight. Streaming wars is, is, is real right now. Netflix, Amazon, Disney Plus. I'm not Disney Plus. You see when Apple's I, trying it. You, you Apple's see from a comics it. perspective, yeah. you know when somebody goes, check out my special on yeah. Amazon Prime. I'm like, boo! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Be, <laughs> boo! <laughs> I, mean, I mean, nowadays, I just, I just think, I mean, I'm just wondering what the advance was really nowadays. Yeah. Because uh, me personally, I'm not sure at this stage, I have no loyalty to any streaming platform. <laughs> mm. uh, so whatever no, the contract says, I'm joking. Then I'll be like, check out no, my no, special no. one. But even, even if I'm saying boo now, yeah, if I go on your platform, I'll make it hot, innit? Yeah. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm Prime, I feel you, yeah. But on the other hand, I know, uh, what's the name? Phoebe Waller-Bridge has her deal, right, with Prime, innit? Where is it? She, yeah, well, she's you heard it. You heard no, it. so she's got a, a deal where I think it may be something shy of maybe allegedly free. Yeah, but it's like maybe an eight figure. Sum. Yeah, but that's all shout cool. out to Amazon Prime man. Yeah, I've got yeah. big love for Amazon Prime man. Like, I got big I love for Amazon. Amazon. Hey, this is a Bezos. Do you know, do you know what I've always I said? I all the primes as well. You know, <laughs> Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime. Optimus. Optimus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I've always said? Yeah, you? Amazon Prime is like the number one streaming platform, right? Yeah, because. <laughs> What it does is, yeah, it provides you not only with videos, yeah. you can actually get stuff delivered for free. So I've always Absolutely. said it's the number one platform. And when I said boo, I was saying boo earns. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, thought, I, thought, I thought you were saying boo like in a UKG, we're like boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, respect, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, but, but it was yeah. boo earns. Exactly. Yeah, boo okay. earns. Oh, boo earns. Nice. Like in nice. Simpsons, you <laughs> get me? <laughs> Or, or, or boots, boots. Which, you can, which you can fill straight from Amazon Prime. Hey, I'll tell you what, for real. You're on Paramount Plus as well, isn't it? I'm on all of them, bruv. I'm horrible. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Paramount Plus is for nerds, though, I think. It's is for it? nerds like me. Yeah, man. It's full but of Star I Trek, isn't it? That new Sylvester oh, okay, Stallone yeah, yeah, film yeah. thing, isn't it? That new Sylvester Stallone. Yes. The King of Tulsa or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. I've not watched I need that to watch yet. That, I, I need to watch that. Anything with Sylvester Stallone, I'll watch, you know. Really? I'll watch anything that Sylvester you, Stallone. Have you seen Judge Dredd? No. Ah, see, yeah, oh no, but, I think I have actually. Yeah, a but when they're coming out of prison, trying to exit. Back in the day, it's, well, it's based on the graphic novel from 2000 AD, and uh, he plays like uh, where well, they got judges now instead of police officers, which means they're judge, jury, and executioner. And it's in uh, what's it? What's it called? Uh, I Meg- ain't seen that. I need to Metro watch it. Is it Metro Me- City? Mega, Mega City? Mega City. One. Mega City. Mega City. Mega City. They built, I think, on like I want to say. New oh, York, is that the one been... where they're going to have sex? And he's like. Can we just that's have de- demolition, that's demolition, fashion, demolition, demolition, that's demolition, bro. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. No, that's a good film as well. Oh, you're in for a treat, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I, I, think so 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 left yeah. I think Sylvester Stallone is hard, you know. Have you seen Rambo 4? Yeah. Rambo 4 is it's wild, wild, bro. wild, isn't it? It's wild. I, li- I, I like it. When I, but when I, see, when I see all of that, yeah, like, I, I this, this is the thing, yeah, when people try and, like, go, like, realistic with it, how can an old man do all of that? Brother, I don't care. It's also, a film. steroids. It's out <laughs> very easily. With some good have you not high seen, level steroids. Yeah, have you not seen more plates, more dates? Yeah. Like, like, high level steroids. I still think, I, I, I don't know. Would you take steroids? Would I take steroids? Yeah. Uh, probably, yeah, because steroids is a very broad term anyway. So, so all right, boom. Um, new Black term. Panther. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. What New Black Panther's coming, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I've like, seen, seen it. No, not that one. What, oh, oh, the next one. The next imaginary. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imaginary yeah. Black Panther. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah, imaginary yeah, yeah. Black Panther, yeah? You're up. D- yeah, you're up. They yeah. want you to play, I don't know, like someone that's going to punch up the Black Panther. Yeah, yeah. So it's, yeah. you know. It hurts that you didn't go straight for. <laughs> first, but... <laughs> Let's hear the pitch, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, but like. You're, you are no protagonist. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 right, you, see the, you see that antagonist, yeah? One of his henchmen. So you got to be up for one of those, Ridley, yeah? Go. Ridley Scott is doing the story of Kurdistan. <laughs> the largest ethnic group without their own land. Kate. Tom Crow. <laughs> yeah, Tom, Tom, yeah. yeah. Tom Hardy. No, no. I was going for two people like three people. <laughs> Russell Crow <laughs> is playing the main guy, yeah. right? How do you feel about being his henchman? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I ain't going to lie. I'll do it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What? How much? Yeah, yeah. fuck that, bro. Like, so, so you, so you can hit, you can hit, you can hit the line in it. Look white anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Starring Eddie Redmayne as Saddam Hussein, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes full methods. He goes full methods. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> but yeah, it, like, and they they say you need to get in shape, and yeah. they're like, we'll give you like pharmaceutical grade mm. um, steroids, like, high level, like HGH yeah. and stuff. 
Everything you want. Everything, yeah. you, Everything you want. Like, what is the what is one person you've looked at and gone, I want a figure like that? That's a good question. Um, I always. So we're saying, who would you have a bash off of I if was... you were that way inclined? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is a, a is a question you should ask. I guess it's a valid question. question. Yeah, it's a valid, valid question. question. Um, a physique that I admire. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is um, the athlete Michael Johnson? Oh, yeah, he was in good. He was in phenomenal Have you, you shape. See Michael Johnson, Johnson's posture, even now, now in, in that yeah, big age, yeah, bro, he's just saying. like, oh, the way he was moving. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. and you're like, brother, are you yeah. not in pain? Re- relax, <laughs> relax, brother. Yeah. <laughs> he looks so that's, that's, that's resting. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's him resting. when he's that's, that's him at resting. ease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His abs, core strength must be wild, Ridiculous. brother. Yes. Pilates that's on deck. But so you, is, Mark, is, it, is it mean that when he was when we were watching the Olympics just before he saying Bolt smashed the world record, he was the one going, I don't think he's got it. His running technique is not correct and da 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 yeah, saying yeah, but looks at the fucking clock and breaks the world yeah, record yeah. and they literally went so <laughs> what, what are your thoughts and he was like what are what are what are I felt like a bit like I felt bad for him yeah, he's a legend yeah. in his own right so but I was he, like bro that just shows you he saw, it, he saw it coming man he saw yeah. it coming. It's, like, it's like even uh, I watched Eddie Murphy and comedians in cars getting coffee in it and he said that at first there was a little bit of tension between him and Richard Pryor in it Really? I was kind of like, he didn't he like me. Spot, yeah. like, I don't, I don't even know. He oh, didn't like me. Mad, yeah. man. But do you know the thing about um, Michael Johnson? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I find a bit mad? Like that guy represented like three or four nations in the Olympics, didn't he? Did he? Yeah. At one point, towards the end of his career, yeah, yeah. he was like running for one of them like smaller Caribbean islands, in it. And you're like, what? How far back have you gone to find like a little bit of lineage? Yeah. But, did, did he, but did he come last? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. No, no. To, be, to be honest, like think about it, like. If you, if you would, if you could, you would. I'll like, take I'll take it off shape, like, MJ. Like, if I could have you run for my country and you're just a little bit off, you're coming into the four-way relay. What country would you represent if they paid you money? Like, what, or what country wouldn't you represent? So, say for example, like there's been a lot of talk about David Beckham taking it's, it's Qatari a, it's a money, good right? Yeah. But yeah. Like, like, so, so say a country comes and then, so say Saudi Arabia, yeah, come and be like, Yo, Marcus, we want you to do this program, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slap two M's on the on the on the and a passport on there, but like you've got to have like. So now I, re- I, re- I renounce my um, British no, citizenship, no, you bro. You get full brochure. You know, you know, when you get to Dubai, yeah, and then you just as you come out, yeah, 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 yeah. When I'm lining up with the property portfolio, yeah, 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 yeah. slides it to you straight away. Then, <laughs> have you ever seen uh, Riyad uh, Riyad Hills? <laughs> 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 you got a palm tree in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, do you know what? They, like, my, like they make you the face of like their new digital ID system. Yeah. They're like, we have podcaster Marcus Bronzi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Marcus is there, like the new Saudi passport is digital. Uh, do you know what I mean, and you're unboxing it at the airport. It shows you in a video in the airport. All the bi- and you've got all like the bi- whole... doing the biometrics. Yeah, your wife, your wife just brushes with the tress of her hair back just to, do the, just to do the retinal scan. How and all would you do it? I think you sold it to me. <laughs> he was like, I was sold it to you. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> How's that? Like, when the numbers in. Where's, where's Marcus? Is that yeah. Marcus, Marcus is the S class on the way here. Marcus will be there for every time. You know, you, Fury fight. Yeah. Like, do you know all those you boxing know, fights that they do? Yeah. 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 Marcus will be there like, yeah, no, um, I feel his <laughs> accent's <laughs> changed. Like, I, you know what? I, I feel... Like, I, I feel <laughs> Today I feel <laughs> Arab. You, Today yeah, I yeah. feel. You know when you spend money Marcus. before you get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, my name's changing as well. But I'm... <laughs> yeah, man. I was like, while you were talking for half of that, I was like, right, two M. So first I'm gonna buy, <laughs> then I'm gonna buy. Yeah, that's where I was. I was spending it before I got it. And also, it. you get like you get treated like royalty in a lot of places. Anyway, bro, already people just align themselves with me. I've been around Brazilian people talking Brazilian to me. Morocco, a few weeks back yeah. when they won the World Cup, bro, I was walking down Edgware Road. Bro, I was Moroccan. Nice, Reza looking nice, at me, nice. we did it! We did it! I was like, yes, Habibi, yes! <laughs> Vibes up. Apple tea? Yes, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, the Edgware and that. How much yeah, money man. would it take for you to like... It's a good question, but I guess it depends on the, so, also so, depends on the country as well. Right, Russia. <laughs> 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 Have you got to Putin? change it? And you have to change it. You have to change your name to Vladimir as well. That's the first thing. No, 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 no. I think it would be even funnier. Yeah, where it's like Dane, 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 and it's the middle name. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. The middle name has got bare like vowels in it and, and consonants. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'll be honest, man. You know, what? Russian Russian characters. Yeah, for their alphabet, bruv. I'm baffed. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm Dane Kurechik. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 
what what am I what am I doing? And uh, so you're the he- you're now like representing Russia at like Just for Laughs Festival. And that's, and that's, and that's like uh, you're right, Russia's right now. Yeah, you're Russia's biggest black comedian. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The Russian language is actually created by a black guy. You know. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Russian language. So that is so the line that's that they go for. Oh, you, that's the that's so the when starting. the cash comes <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. from the money that I've already accepted. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I know Dana's going to be like, well, Russians have never enslaved my people. Quan Stravaganza. Quan Stravaganza. That takes place in Russia. Yes. Listen, Russia is a very big territory, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not just representing Russians. There's Kazakhstanis, <laughs> yeah. Uzbekistanis, yeah. Tajikistanis. Man said he's going to be you know in I mean? Dagestan with with Khabib. I might like, be, I might be, but all that central, the Central Asian nations as well, boy. Like, if I couldn't represent for those how people, how as much well, money your take? people, bro? Oh, the, the number there, that's a good one, boy. It, to put it this way, it would have to be enough <laughs> to, A, pay my legal fees to avoid any extradition treaty. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, what are you being extradited for, Jesus? Well, I don't know, for treason, you know, <laughs> that's, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's say let's say I go down I, I, I go across the, what's the name to one of these holiday destinations I get extraordinarily renditioned by Western powers. Next thing you know, I wake up on a black site, which don't sound as good as you think it should. Nah, do you know <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I I just think I don't know. The money would just be to be enough that I always think when it comes to heists or doing anything that's morally objectionable. Yeah, the money should be enough that you don't have to do it again. It's a one-time thing. It's At like least, when yeah, people yeah. go for a big fraud. Yeah, like yeah. I always like. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying I, I I agree with crime, but I'm like, yeah, you really rolled the dice on that one. You put it yeah. all on red to really I, go. I, for I always it. feel like though, if you're gonna commit a crime, go big. Go big. Yeah, go, go big. big. Don't don't go into pen for like something stupid like That's fucking like, yeah. robbing a person you, 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 you or, a, have to, you have or to go yeah. big or you got to stay steady. Oh, yeah. from so, bread from white so if, you're, if you're embezzling, you got to embezzle the same amount for time. Don't get sloppy. Do yeah. the same thing until you leave the company. Keep or, it tight, man. Yeah. And em- embezzle that little, just chip a little bit off exactly. the edge. Yeah, or, that. or at least you got to do enough that the windfall is you don't got to work again for a year. So like you take like your equivalent of your salary mm. and do it that way. Can I just say, this is not financial advice that we're giving out and uh, we do not condone. This is how to <laughs> rub your way to the top <laughs> advice. Listen, <laughs> behind every fortune is a, is a great crime. So, you know, and I feel like, you know what? Like when it so comes what to was your crime? Fraud, what was my great crime? <laughs> He's still, he's still committing it. Let him, he's still in the I got, process. I got one, actually. I got one. It's basically, yeah, when I uh, first started doing comedy, and it's basically, and as uh, most artists do. <laughs> I jumped the train. I, I, oh, I jumped a lot of trains. Yeah, one of the, one of those was like, I guess I had to jump the train because I had to do a gig in, uh, like, Bo or, like, on the Isle of Dogs. They speak gigs around there. And you can take the DLR, which doesn't have mm. all the barriers and stuff. So or a, a driver. Time, free train. To, yeah, I had to do free train because, not because I was trying to do no Scarlet Pump and shit, I didn't have the money. So, mm-hmm. and then I also, for like parking tickets and stuff, I had to kind of do a lot of legal research onto like how to avoid paying certain parking tickets from like. See when you're broke, yeah. Stuff, well. See when you're broke, yeah. You find. You become that the most resourceful person. You like, have to, you have yeah, to, man, yeah. of course. You buy a legal dictionary Needs that's must. the same price as the flipping parking ticket. Just to contest the parking. That's the thing. When I when I got off my ticket, I was gassed in it, yeah. Because basically, I wait, I buried them in paperwork, and they fucked up, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I came out and I was like, yes. Then I was like, how much fucking time did I just spend trying to get off this ticket? Yeah, you, that, but that's and problem, next time, you just pay the ticket, innit? Yeah. What you say, but that's the thing is that because you took the time, and that's how a lot of they these companies you. they get you because they, get, they know that exactly. much. People, because when you think about it, like if yeah. they were justified, they, when they say to you, oh, it's going to cost you 120, but if you pay us in the first 28 days, it's only 65 pounds. So no, they haven't got any it's real a legal claim. I look at that like yeah. it's a bargain. I hate that bullshit. So yeah. you've been put into a contract which you which you have. Uh, but do you know what I do? To. Do you know what I do? I wait till the 13th day just to make them sweat. Yeah, of course. <laughs> make them sweat. Or, or wait till day number 13. Like you didn't think I'd pay, yeah. did you? Or send, send them send, or send them another. Um, Send them a reply to contest it, because then from there you've changed the uh, conditions of the contract. So then they have to issue another contract which voids the original one, and then that leaves you another d- couple of days to do it. Yeah, again. Yeah, but if I'm gonna pay it, I ain't got time but, to. But you know, when you got money, this is the thing as well. You can avoid this shit. Bro, because, do you example, know? Do you know getting stamps is just long. Yeah, it for is a letter. Really like you know, like somebody's contest. You can't contest them via email, or can you? Mm-mm. Like you got to fucking write. No, you can't can just convey email. Can you? Now, can yeah. you now? Okay. Okay. And what you have is in business law because it's all business law. Because no, it's not real crimes, isn't it? If it's what's called uh, the postal rule. So as soon as you put the stamp on the thing and put it in the letterbox, it's valid before they even receive it. So as long as you put it in there, the, by the postal rule means you've sent your contract, which means they voided the original contract. How many times though have you had a letter, mm-hmm. right? And you put a stamp on it, and you're like, I'm going to post this. And it's just taking you days to post because you're driving and you're like, where's the fucking post? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, there's a few around my area, but like 
they're, they're like a minute away on foot. But when I get in the car, I miss them. And some of them are just crackhead toilets, let's be honest. Yeah. Or dog toilets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the time, I post boxes. How, 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 how much longer do you think letters have? I think letters got a lifespan now. Do you reckon? I think they're old hat though, innit? So they might just stick around because they're like, part of like, like an old like system. Vinyl, like, vinyl. Do you know? like vinyl, yeah, yeah. 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 But you see, they might no. make a comeback. <laughs> but like everywhere you go, they're like, you can get like electronic bills sent to you now. Mm-hmm. And you're like, I ain't gonna check my bills if they're electronic. I mean, I think, I think, There's think, something different about it coming true, yeah. and it's like you are in arrears of 145 pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's an urgency to it. You, whereas you know it's like when it's on a screen yeah. on your phone, you're like, oh, fuck, fuck your leave yeah, 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 like, yeah. There is they, nothing that is distracting it, me yeah. from the letter right but now. But they send but they send letters. That's one of the reasons that letters still exist is because of the uh legal implications that come with them. So once yeah. they send it to you, it means it's not a letter, it's a contract. But by that same token, a contract is only given power when it's signed and and or unless you give it power. So a lot of the time, even if you get something from someone and say you got a parking ticket, you can be like, well, there's no signature for this. So this contract has no actual meaning. Mm. Like, I don't know, man. That sounds like what no, it's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot, like it's a lot of good wisdom, bro. No, no. It, it, I'm, it's serious. Because I, and I'll tell you the story exactly why, yeah? Because when I gave my car back, it was at the end of the HP in it. And then when at the end, they'll calculate like what your remaining figure is or like settlement figure to pay it. So they charged me, and I said they charged me eight bills, and then they added on like a next 200 pounds for the next thing. Then they had it on VAT as well. But I only, I had a, the signature I'd done was for this like 800 pounds per se. So then they're like, oh, we didn't include the VAT on top of it. And so they basically got like a photocopier and reprinted it with my signature already there. But that's a photocopy that's signature, illegal. which is illegal. So I'm like, well, I didn't sign that one. So this has no power in it. So they passed it on to a next debt factoring company and the next bailiff company. And every time they call me or say anything, I just say, cool, show me a contract which I've signed with with the car company to say that you can enforce this. And because they haven't got it, couldn't do anything. And, then what they, and what they did then is that they changed it again and said that the car went to auction and this is the outstanding amount that you're liable for. And I'm like, cool, well, what's the signature? Because I signed a different agreement to the one that you're saying that I'm liable for, innit? Mm. That, went, that went on for years, innit? So you, you can't get them sometimes as well because, you know, it's the same reason when you when people get stopped by ticket inspectors and shit as well, like they use like legalese and stuff as well. So the reason why they always ask you for ID is because they are a private company. And so they can't ask a public, a private citizen for any identification. That's what the data protection acts for. When you give it to them, like if you get caught on a train, then it means you're agreeing to contract with them. It was called tacit agreement. Yeah. So you can say, well, this is my name. I'd have to show you no ID because you're a private citizen. And they can get a police officer to try and scare you, but a police officer can't force you to do either. It's a civil, not a civil it's, matter, but it's it, not it, a, no, it's, it's, it's a civil, civil matter. Case, yeah, yeah, cool, civil case. It's not a capital crime. So the worst yeah, they can yeah. do is make you, make you get off a train, but they can't like grip you or put you in cuffs or nothing like that. Yeah. So even when, for example, you can give them your address and stuff as well, but again, you don't have to prove that with any kind of ID. Mm. So all that happens is once yeah. they sign, send something to your house, you can be like... I don't know who the fuck that is. But so for more legal advice, in, DM us on Instagram at Ain't Got A Clue. That hood, that hood legal pod, advice as well, yeah. We will get you uh, a reply from Dane. Uh, Dane, <laughs> Dane, do you, what are your qualifications? Um, life. I have, I have, <laughs> I have, I have, I've studied, I, I, I passed the bar exam at the University of Life. <laughs> <laughs> and I went on to get the my... bar lunch. exam is, yeah, is my, like, <laughs> rapping. Like, yeah. like, rapping what? <laughs> rapping what? <laughs> The bar exam, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's that's minus YouTube. two outside. Go make some money for me. Come back. You make that bar, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. Nah, man. Oh, man. With you, though, anyway, so you've got, have you, you got a tour coming up or anything? Uh, yeah, well, basically, I just announced that I'm working on a new show, which is called Bap Squire, um, which I'll be touring next mean? year. It's a nickname, basically. But it's also, the nickname comes from when I was in uni, like, I did a sandwich course initially. The idea is a that sandwich I, course. Yeah, so a sandwich course is supposed to be a four-year course where you do three years studying your degree and then you do one year of work experience. Oh, I was like, this brother went to learn like <laughs> you really thought like, yeah. oh, okay, God. <laughs> yeah. was like, that being, was like, yeah. that being was said, like, had I predicted like gentrification, <laughs> yeah. I would have studied how to make sandwiches. Right, trust me, trust me. If the money they're making off a baguette with a couple bread. of slices of ham in it. Bread. My favorite bread. I mean, my favorite bread is a gege. Okay. 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 Yeah. He went ethnic with it. It used to, it used to be hard though, but it's a gay gay. But also, also partial to a flatbread, mm. uh, like a little bit of sourdough. Showing the well. juice, they got that that weird bread. But it really tastes nice when you have the sandwich. What, like the turkey sandwich. Yeah, prices, remember, man. Yeah, Jesus man. Christ. That's mortgage money, isn't it? Yeah, 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 the juice price. We've it? had it a few times, though. Yeah. All right, bro. Let's not show yeah, off. Well, <laughs> <laughs> 
the same time. <laughs> when we've been we celebrating my own yeah, yeah, exactly. Birthdays, <laughs> Christmas, Kwanzaa. You know yeah, the ones yeah, there, bro. Joe and the G's time, innit? Yeah, yeah. Get a turkey listen, baguette. Listen, you, uh, you guys have earned the right to get some healthy food every now and again. We, what, what, I mean, I, 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 is it healthy, that healthy? Joe the juice. Yeah. Be, uh, like best of a bad be... bunch, I'd say. If you were gonna be, if you were gonna be anal about it, because it's bread in it. Yeah, the best, when, you, the when you're talking about restaurants, it's much easier to say lesser of two evils than when you're talking about politicians. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, crazy. yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. You, you weren't really feeling Matt Hancock this year, were you? I weren't. I'm not really. I guess I should say I don't feel the Matt Hancock uh, machine rather than just the individual. Because because a lot he, he won a lot of us over, bro. You know what? People were asking me, and this is really your time to talk, Dane. But I will say this, right? A lot of people were asking me, like, Yo, why, why is it? Why, why is he so likable? I'm like, because that's his fucking job. Exactly. Exactly. You put him in a room, he's the guy that after he talks, everyone goes, yeah. oh, he's actually all right, you know. And then exactly, he, that's exactly. what politicians do, right? That is, that's, that is, their, that's their job. That is exactly, yeah, their, that is exactly their one job. One of my friends works with his brother, innit? And I was like, oh, right, like, what's happening? I think I'm liking my... He's like, don't, he's a cunt. <laughs> there you go. And if you, and if you paid attention, you would start to see the cracks as they begin. Mm. So one of them is like, it's very small things where he'd be, he'd be like, they'd be doing food and he was the jungle leader in it. And he would just flip and he said to somebody... Oh, no, he was having extra bits of food, innit? He was taking what? people's... Because I don't watch the show, go on, bro, talk to he me. he was taking extra bits of food and there was, like, times where, like, uh, they were, like... He, he kept on leaving his, like, shavings in the bowl and he was like, oh, well, you can just go like that. And they were like, well, if it's that easy, why don't you do it, innit, kind of thing. There you go. And, it, and every time around camp, he was leaving his T-shirt, like... <laughs> <laughs> like fucking in the camera's line with like the number on it to call and then like Mike Tyndall was just like have you seen what he's doing and then he kept on like turning it over so no one would see it oh my day and that is that's the difference isn't that it that is when you were like that people. was yeah, when you were exactly like exactly it and that's oh, exactly it yeah, I, I was and just when I was starting to like you, do you mm. know what I mean? Like, but, that's, but, that's, but it's exactly as Marcus says, like, he is trained. He understands they, they, the, the amount of training that goes into understanding human psychology yeah, and how to kind of subvert it. I know. They, they understand this stuff Did all the time. Did you see when he had a confrontation with Boy George? Uh, Boy so George was like, I don't like you. He's like, I do. I like you. Like, yeah. And it was like, oh, bro, just bug him in the face. No, but, but, so, but that's what I'm saying to you. Is that That's what he's very useful at doing is that you can say something to him that normally would somebody would say, well, fuck you then, or they'd punch you in the face. But the fact that he doesn't respond to it, he's aware that when the audience en masse views that, that if enough people, because most of these people that are in the jungle don't agree with his views, they might just yeah. talk about it and, you know, but he understands how even how TV works. So then he looks like the underdog. Mm. If every time he's like, I'll do it, I'm up for it. To people that view I'm a celebrity, you're the guy that's prepared to get your hands dirty for the greater good yeah, of the camp yeah, yeah, and for yeah. the sake of entertainment. So he's able to manipulate those people. But it's like you said, Kate, it's all them things that when it's like he hides his T-shirt or he wants an extra bit of food even though he didn't really work for it and they've been there for longer. You see it's, even, shit, it's, even, yeah. it's even things like he'll say to somebody, go and do this and not say thank you because then he starts creating... This is how politics works. And, and the thing mm. about politics, yeah, is that, and how it works on a macro social scale is, yeah, most politicians... That, that means on a big scale. On a big scale, yeah. <laughs> if, if, most, if most people told you to do shit, yeah, and they told you to do it in a certain way, normally you won't be like... You'd say, you'd say fuck off, innit? But it's like in these very, very... It's a it, it, better analogy. You know when people say, like, if you put a frog in boiling water, they jump out straight away. But if you heat up the water slowly, they don't even realise they're dying until it's too late. Mm. And that's how politicians work, is that they slowly chip away at like your um, discernment or your moral disposition and they chip away mm. at it. So it, it starts off with stuff like him asking you to do something but not, not saying please or saying like, well, why don't you just empty the shaving bowl even though it could just be a factor of him so in consideration because what happens is then you go, I'll just do it so it gets done and removes him of the responsibility of doing so and they start creating all these things whereby you get used to small bits of your own personal freedoms, your own personal space being taken away and before you know it, this fucker's in charge. You'll be bare angry in there, innit? If, I, if you know, I'd, be like, I'd like to think I'd be like Mike Tyndall because <clears throat> Mike Tyndall obviously is from yeah. a similar... He was just chilling, he's bro. from a similar echelon in society, yeah. innit? Because he's, he's from royal, so he knows the same kind of circles that these guys are from. And he didn't vocalise it or have to actually confront him and be like, I fucking hate you. But you notice, like, even in body language, he didn't have any kind of throwaway conversations with him. He didn't have any kind of, like, funny exchanges with him and stuff like that because he knows who he truly is. I'll say to anybody who's like, I was kind of all right. Remember Matt Hancock has two children, you know? Is it two kids? I Did, don't know. He, he, he's a father, basically. And people were like, oh, Charlene's bossy. The first night Charlene White was in the jungle, she's crying because she missed their kids, yeah? This brother didn't even mention his children the whole time he was there. And even though you had an affair, you've left your wife, 
shit happens. I can't judge it. That's what a good affair will do. But, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, we saw the grips. Yeah, I mean, saw grips saw the grips, that, yeah. that is yeah. what a good so, I mean, slankock, you know. You get me? Yeah. Slankock. Anyway, then, man. He's, he's, sitting, just... he's sitting there knowing his kids are at home reading a love letter from his mistress. Like, even if you love her... Well, they're together now. Yeah, they're together, but still, your kids are still at home watching you be yeah, like, you're... yeah, man, my new thing has sent me a letter. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she misses me. Yes, my please. new thing. Oh. Yeah. Like, read that in your privacy, innit? I, I, I always really? think like that. The one, th- <laughs> the one thing about them shows is, you know, when you get them letters and stuff, I'm like, I don't want anybody fucking sending me a letter that's being read out on national TV. <laughs> You oh, better pray him. that one of us don't write you a letter because imagine that if Marcus they left it off to us, look. Mark is going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off hey, the letter like, hey, brother, <laughs> hey, brother, I heard you're mad hungry out there. I'm eating bare food right now, bro. Oi, 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 bro. I look pr- forward to seeing you eat some camel dicks here. Yeah? I prefer yeah. that yeah, yeah, than yeah, yeah. to like, we will really miss you. Yeah. We're all, I'm, oh, I mean, I, dear Kay, think of the bread when you come out. <laughs> yeah. There. And then, when we go to Dubai, yeah. there is a new housing development available for yeah. you. <laughs> With a new passport. Yeah. Yes, but now you are a sorry for DMing national. bare things on your Instagram, bro. Yeah, I just had to oh, do it, bro. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> let me tell you something. You know, like, blood, here are some of the apps for some of the things that have been in touch on your account since you've been in this jungle. Blood, get back under that waterfall, blood. And yeah. Somebody, it's going to be blessed when you come out. That, no, that, that's that fu- the funny thing is of those... Um, is it, when you see who who manages people's Instagrams because some people get like like their management or whatever and it's like a completely different voice. You can tell, innit? Yeah. Go! Like, yeah. like mm, brother! <laughs> I want to thank all of you. That's, that's how you know something yeah. was wrong with Dane's account. Thrilled. I want to thank I'm all thrilled. of you for... <laughs> yeah, I'm thrilled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thrilled to I'm be in the so jungle. This has been such a delightful experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, delightful. I'm lost for words as to how... Nah. Dane, is, Dane lost for words? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Is he in trouble? <laughs> 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 yeah. We're starting to lost for words. Yeah, yeah, fucking help. For, yeah, that is that is that is him like putting out the white flag going, Ooh, fucking find me. Mm-hmm. Fucking find me, bro. <laughs> yeah. What are you saying, Kay? For um uh, I'm sure you've discussed this with me, you've discussed already on the pod, but What's your price? And I, I feel like... Oh, no, no I said... Not only... Not only uh, let's I'm not going to disclose things. it on here again, but <laughs> let me tell you, everyone has a price, yeah? yeah everyone has a price. <laughs> and everyone has a price and... Sometimes, you know what, yeah? Camel de Cain will even... <laughs> Why is it sometimes? <laughs> sometimes it ain't bad. <laughs> yeah, you, you lot are just thinking arenas. Arenas, no, isn't it? Uh, arenas, because no, that no, is let arena, let isn't it? Yeah. I saw how, how Sean and Baba's tickets were selling, and I was like, do you know what? This reality TV thing, yeah, it's even bad, you know? <laughs> it's just people's viewing habits have changed, really. Well, like, this is what, yeah. what I'm wondering, though, because I, I feel like, do you know what? I... Up until those guys were in the jungle, I've never watched a thing for, the, for that long. Yeah, for that yeah, long. yeah. But... It became a routine. I was like, let me watch a football and then watch that. But watching them when it was in there, like, I can't... I enjoyed it. I mean, yeah. I, enjoy, I enjoyed them being in there. I can't. I, I can't hate. <laughs> and if you do want to get Dane on, I'm a celebrity. His agent's booking will be my, in my, the my, 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 show description. Yes, I'm saying, but my only thing is though is that like at the same time, it's like, do you do that when you have no other avenues to go? Oh to? no, because no, no! I really want to see you on Strictly. Strictly. <laughs> Mm. I want to see Dane Baptiste on Strictly. Yeah, Do you, can you see? Can you imagine Dane in a blue frilly shirt? <laughs> yeah. I could imagine the exchange and here we have between Dane the judges yeah. doing the Paso Doble. <laughs> oh yeah, if like Craig Revel Hall yeah, or yeah. someone was like, oh, you would say that, wouldn't you, Craig? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, well, but he'd be like, but actually, Craig, yeah, like I don't fucking need this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be like, you're very, you're very judgmental for a pla- with a man with a plastic forehead. See what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. That's, that's episode I mean. one. That's what I'm saying. That's the and first. Then we're like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, you know what? I'm with you, Kay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to see I this. I think that's the only problem with me and reality shows, man. But, but, like... but you would get into, I reckon, like, uh, because I, I reckon you'd like Strictly better because mm. it's actually developing a talent. Yeah. Right? Mm. So you'd be like, oh, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't mind, like, learning how to dance or whatever, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? And plus, you'd have access to your phone. You could go home to your, to your family or whatever, <laughs> yeah? yeah? But, like, but, like, the moment they try and send you to Blackpool, you're like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> no way. Yeah. But it's yeah, mad, isn't it? That they have such a glam show in such. And let's be honest, Blackpool's tough, man. Well, I've done a lot of gigs like, there. It's the home of uh, ballroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, well, yeah, I, I mean, I've been on. I've been on the streets. Public urination yeah, yeah. and and barefoot, yeah, yeah, yeah. And barefoot yeah. takeaway yeah. patrons. Yeah. And it's one of the, it's one of the first places where I was gigging, and I saw a few, a few ambulances that were just there. It's ready good to, good to, to go. go. That, that not not comedy, by the way. He was a DJ, so he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was seeing. I was in these streets, bro. <laughs> I was in these streets, bro. Was that when you were at uni? 
Uh, nah, it's outside both, of it. Do, oh, during and outside of it. Because you both went to uni, it. like in similar places. You went to Preston. You went to Bradford, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, not well, not too similar, but close enough. The, yeah. The, the, outside the, of London. Yeah, yeah. Try it. No, no, no. <laughs> the, the, the similarity. The similarities. Yeah, I mean, you sound like a lot of a Londoner, innit? Like, bruv, north, north of no, Birmingham, no, 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 because, up north. Because, yeah. because I, I would say like the takeaways are pretty much the same as well. Yeah. No, actually, no. Bradford, Bradford takeaways. Bradford is oh, very really? good for takeaways. Really? Yeah. Based is uh, because you yeah. have. The guy to Bradford Takeaways in at number five. Yeah, it's a Rogers. <laughs> Burger and Fries. In at Burger number four, fries. drink for two Rajeshes. pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, there was there was a place called Mahmoud's. Oh, Mahmoud's. Yeah, yeah Mahmoud's is up there as well. Um, Akbar's, and they supply like curry and stuff Shout to, like Tesco and stuff. So yeah, I mean, if that's his people, then yeah, <laughs> take it up nicely. Cafe Arabia, where I used to get my. Um, Get the lamb, Imagine the all these that. places are shut down now, like, and then uh, someone's going to Bradford. A lot of them are, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you want and, a guide uh, to Bradford's previously great takeaway, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> don't go to Bradford now. Expect to see this shit. Right, here, right, I think Raj is still there. They've, they've actually expanded. So, and I think oh, as, mad. as as McMoods, like a um, creams. Yeah, exactly like a creams. So. Businesses like Creams and stuff, which probably, I think, began to proliferate a lot more down south. Do you not feel like Creams is one of the weirdest, ta- like... It makes complete sense to me, man. I'm like, who, how do you stay? Is there that much of a demand for, like, waffles and sundaes? The yeah, margins bro, are unbelievable. Do you, do you, and me, there is a big client base. You, this is, they're like Muslim pubs, bro. <laughs> for real. No, but for no, real. No, that's more shisha. Ke- shisha as well, yeah, yeah. But, like, I guess it's like, you know, sometimes in pubs, it's like the kids could go here. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. There, and then we go in the back and have a, have a point, and uh, it's very similar because I whole, see creams whole and family. it's always busy, and I'm like, I I don't ever have like a son, like once a year. Like, you might have like a couple that could go for a drink, or you could take a girl and go and get a, a little there's dessert. A, there's a, like a top scale like equivalent of creams or Caspers in Bradford. That's the new thing. Really, like, it's like a gourmet like eat your ice cream with a fork. Is like it one of those ones like, where they do something like take a bowl off it and they're smoking it? You know, like those ones are Instagrammable, way, that kind of stuff. Oh my anything. god, have you seen that place in London, Cedric Brule? It's that. Um, so it's this. Um, it's this bakery. It's a very high. It's in Mayfair, right? Yeah, patisserie. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's a patisserie. Yeah, patisserie, yeah. bro. They use rulers. <laughs> yeah, they use rulers and pr- um, protractors and everything to make the croissants and like the, the pan au chocolats and whatever. Yeah, bro. I saw this guy's TikTok about it. Yeah, like he was. <laughs> his opening line was, "I went. I was going to try just as Jacques Boulet. As soon as I went in, I saw LED lights on the stairs, which is when I knew my bank account was mad." <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like i I was gonna go but then i thought fuck it let's just begin but like i think it was it's like 90 pound for 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 a couple of croissants and a drink that is good margin what's what's the bar made from for the croissants i don't know we can go and find out i mean i I want to find out if we do it if we do it for our patreon i mean it's tax deductible (laughs) yeah yeah exactly I was thinking we could do an episode of Dane's podcast in there or something like that, innit? Because then it's on them, right? Dane, yeah. Dane, Dane questions everything. And he's just why, like, why is it so expensive? Why is it so expensive? Why is that so expensive? How much? How much? <laughs> the, whole, the whole questions everything. Just Where's the rest? Me. Where is the rest? <laughs> That's what you get for this? Yeah. And also, I'm like, how, how good can a croissant be for, for it to cost that much? It's all gas, though, isn't it? It's Mayfair gas, like, isn't it? Mayfair tax, like, isn't it? Yeah. I get you're, like, v- very precise with the measurements and stuff. Yeah. But sometimes, like, I don't know about you, yeah? Do you cook? Yes. Yeah. Do you, you, don't, you don't strike me as a presentation man when you're cooking. It depends, isn't it? If I need to, I will. If you're cooking for someone else. Yes, I can present. Uh, but some, for yourself, some foods are hard nah, to make look... Ethnic foods are hard to present well, bro. They look horrible. In, I don't think they're photogenic. Yeah, I don't yeah, think they're they're not, I feel they look horrible. They're not, they're it isn't like pounded yam. There's not many ways of that making it's, that look... It's not so much the yam. It's the stews yeah, and stuff. I, know, I don't I think those I colours know, accentuate. It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like, how many ways can you make pounded yam? Like a circuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can orientate the spinners in this red beans, red pea soup, you get me, to make it like the distribution is... And also, it's like if you do go for a presentation, curry goat. Like, how are you making curry goat look good? The, the, only, the only way you can do it is if you fold it in like a roti and um, parcel. Yeah, and yeah. That's the only and way you can't you see it basically. Yeah, you can't you see hide it. it. Yeah, yeah. Put a little tamarind sauce. Yeah, on yeah. yeah. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 my dad with the shopping goes like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know your mother's wasting time on them. <laughs> what, 
there could be more on your plates. <laughs> <That's> so- <laughs> I've, I've seen like Middle Eastern food, the way they make that look good is they just get like the rice and then mm. they put the, the kebabs on it. Yeah, you can make the rice look all right as well. Yeah. 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 The kebabs but even that angle, like, yeah. they make it hummus and olive oil yeah. well. You know, but, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Olive but you know when I see these dickhead chefs here where they're like, oh, I'm going to make my version of a shish kebab and they've got like three bits of chicken. Big man, that's not a shish kebab. I should say though, I went to the Ned for like a opening party for um yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be such an intro. but um you know um brent who does, who produces like free shots okay and he uh has the black network and does like the day after and stuff like that as well so oh. they had the launch for like the network and um they did like hawk cuisine of like nigerian food and to be fair that was banging like how they prepared but by the same time like, any pictures I don't have exactly. Any, I, I, I'll, I'll, get some, I'll, I'll get some. <laughs> Point proven. <laughs> but like I said, ethnic food, but also no. Ethnic, but it's when the, it's when the ethnic appetites as well, because even if you make it presented a certain way, if you take a like a ramekin of rice and put that on a plate for but my no, dad or let, his friends, no, no, no. they're gonna say that. But a lot of these cultural the, yeah, foods, yeah. a lot of these cultural foods, yeah, they're not designed to be put on singular plates. Nah. That's what I'm saying. What I'm They're designed to be put on a platter and then everyone just takes their bit from it, innit? You're not there to just go, let me have my... Because, it, like, you'd share with your brothers and your cousins or whatever, do you know yeah, what I mean? You're yeah. not there, like, to, to just go, oh, this is mine, mm. actually. Wait, but also, yeah, it's definitely. when they go, bro, they'll, what they'll do, yeah, it'll get some, like, Marco Pierre White or whatever. He'll come and he'll put, like, three fucking bits of chicken, yeah, on a fucking bit of bread and then he'll be like... And now time for the curry sauce. And he'll put it on. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see that. Splashed I'll be out. real, yeah. yeah. I, I'll be real. I, I don't want to see that. I want to see... I, I, I want my, 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 my shish kebab cooked by a man in a, in a red polo shirt with like an apron on. A little right. bit, and let's be honest, there's a little bit of sweat on that yeah. food as well. Yeah, there's a little yeah, bit of sweat has come off and he's got into he that has food, no bro. Hair. No he hair. Has no hair on his head. He's but somehow his... there's a hair in the food. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing, right? That's what I want to see, bro. I want to see chest hair out. I want to I I see, I man see man hairy I, arms. When I, say hello, this. when I say hello to him, it's instantly an inconvenience. Yeah. How's, how's it going? Huh? What the fuck are you asking that for? What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want, boss? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to ask me questions I, like I, that. I don't, want, I don't want him using any receptacle designed for food. He's basically taken like a you know like a big bottle of flash liquid mm-hmm. and cut that in half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's a jerk sauce thing. The big base, though, you get me? <laughs> yeah. That seen some better days. Splash, 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 splash. <laughs> that's what I like to see because you know when you know when um when you go into certain like um certain restaurants yeah or like certain takeaway places yeah like I mean Caribbean ones a bit like re- renowned for like the worse the service the better the food right do you think they have like um, like a training tape where it's like <laughs> when the customer comes in don't greet them <laughs> why because you're you're blood clot busy as well <laughs> too many minutes yeah. that means your, your, your gut is too tough yeah. <laughs> never give them their first choice yeah. <laughs> repeat after me <laughs> me <not> after <laughs> Yeah. I, I don't I, have I, it. I, no, no, again. <laughs> we'll have that. If they ask for two festivals, say you only have one. <laughs> I think it's an interesting one because, again, I, I feel like that's exactly for the reason you said, Kay, is that like it's about this. I think with a lot of uh, ethnic cuisine, it's not just about the practice of making the food, it's about how you share the food and stuff like that as well. I know, I know. But have you seen <laughs> like Caribbean takeaways on Uber Eats or Deliveroo? Yeah. It's never 10 or 20 minute delivery, even if it's five minute walk, bruv. It's always like 35 to 15 minutes. So good food takes time, bruv. I know, I know, bruv. But you know when you're like, brother, you've cooked it already, bruv. Yeah. Like, just... Put it in a thing and send it to me, bro. But yeah, no, it is a sharing kind yeah, of food, isn't it? A, like, I went to an Ethiopian restaurant and uh, you even eat the plate and everything, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's kind of like a sponge. Kind of oh, like a sa- It's not savoury, but it's like kind of like a... I guess it's... It's kind of neutralish, kind of taste sponge. And then so they they had like the sponge. It's like, it's like a sponge plate, like an edible plate. And there was like peas and like peppers. And, and then basically it's very similar to like... I suppose it's like kind of like Horn of Africa... With Middle Eastern cuisine, edible and, um, plates. Oh yeah, you can you, you eat the plate, boy. <laughs> Fascinating. So it comes in, Fascinating. Like, it comes in there, there should be more of that though, like more sustainable. Like you know, was it rice paper in it? Yeah, I think so. Like, yeah. Do, you know, do you know? Do you know what? Um, what the actual um, the, the the version of that was in many cultures already? Mm. Bread. Yeah. Mm. They just put a big fucking bit of bread, yeah. Yeah, big yeah. circular bit of bread. Yeah. Mm. Fucking slap the food on it, and then you eat the bread up later with the oil, and then crack on. Good to Is go, hundred percent. Good to go. No plates needed, man. It's yeah. like the Italians, the Italians do that kind of thing right there as well. Do they? Yeah. Well, I mean, the bread is for. I've, I've said this. I've said this bare times. Italian food's overrated. 
Well, it, it, it's two different things. There's two different types of Italian food, isn't it? There's like Italian food from Italy. And then there's a lot of people that talk about Italian food. They think of like what they get in New York, isn't it? And they're very different types of foods because no, I'm, things I'm have changed. Just, all, just saying all of it generally. Stand it, stand it. Standard All of it. On it standard on its bro. Just overrated. Even in the one that's in New York, overrated. My, my Italian friend, friend that told me... Where's like, the protein, bro? That's quite in, endearing is that like, that's, that's the white of the flag. So the flag... Is the cuisine as well? Okay. So all the cuisine, the color. If you look we at the color, the cuisine's white. Is that what no, no, it's, it's red, white, and green, isn't it? So the red is for the tomato sauce, which is the base for a lot of like pastas and stuff right, like that right. as well. I need to check this. The white is for the pa- is white is for pasta and fish <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that as well, and the green is for like I guess like vegetables and pestos and stuff like that as well. But for real, Dan, you're not messing with me. I'm not messing with you okay, at all, okay, man. Cool. So if you look you at like a check lot, this on Wikipedia. But then that means <laughs> yeah. yeah, check out Wikipedia. Because they didn't say that. I'll go say that to some people. Dan will be like later on. Fuck did you, Marcus? He's an Italian guy, but he reckons that like a lot of the food, if you look at Italian. food, Food is very similar to like the flag. It's just red, white, and green. I like, I like, it, I like Italian food, but I like the hood. No, I like, never the, said I, I like, like it. Yeah, no, that's no, yeah. cool. But I like like the village Italian food, like the food that you don't see in restaurants. So like, I was in Lake Como, and the I one like that puts a <laughs> like I went to, I went to a Lake restaurant. Como, you know, I went to a restaurant, and then <laughs> man said a village Lake Como. <laughs> no, no, it, it was, off, it you, was know, off. Like, you know like that village, the Amalfi <laughs> Coast. <laughs> you know like that. <laughs> it was it that was a kind bit, of village. It was a bit of a way away from Lake Como, but you know you know you know the fact that they have like the four seasons. Yeah, yeah. Amalfi Coast. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. It's a liquid thing at Claridge's. You know the one there. <laughs> <laughs> but it was about it was listen it was a that's the area I was in but I went to a restaurant and there's literally like you got two types of wine yeah a big a big jug or a small jug there was like a dish of the day and some salad that was it like that kind of village food where they go and get the fish village. or they get the, or they get I the stuff I don't care wherever you are in Lake Como it's not village it wasn't in Lake Como that's the area bro see, but see, nowadays even that kind of what seems like a more quaint or rustic yeah. practice yeah. that shit is worth more money man because you yeah. know getting salmon that is freshly caught or getting lion mm. caught fish compared to nowadays people can get salmon and shit from like farm salmon in yeah. it so that stuff is even worth more nowadays anyway like even or if someone's like you eat your flowers getting milled from like a, a, a finger as opposed yeah. to like it's like being mass produced nowadays like that quaint shit is the stuff that's worth a lot more money man i i just think like anything poor like i think right now Flavors. look in 2023 if you want to make money think of anything poor right that you're doing <laughs> and just put some nice font on it yeah and that's fucking. Bruh, you're gonna make money making. They've you're gonna make money. Been doing bro, this, bro. bro they've they've been doing this. Do you see spirulina? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have gentrified spirulina, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember back in the day, you only just saw rusters with spirulina in Brixton <laughs> yeah. and whatever. Yeah. Now they like spirit. Like thing. Chronics has got a whole fucking song about it. Yeah. Mm. These times. Sage and sage. Burn, these, yeah. Burning sage, sage yeah. as well. Burn yeah. Burn but burn. these times, spirit spirulina is a fucking like it's it, it's in it's nice new packaging. Mm. Yeah. It's like this has got like many antioxidants and whatever. Great, green tea and like matcha and stuff mm-hmm. as well used to cost Ox, the, the, oxtail, uh, price oxtail sorry oxtail, vegans yeah, price oxtail. oxtail's going up Even Wait, we start old man talk now yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. it's not oxtail <laughs> as much as it used to be <laughs> listen that's the life you work for Marcus <laughs> vacations at Lake Como eating oxtail whenever the fuck boy, you want boy, Marcus, Marcus lives a great life let me tell you Marcus, Marcus has earned a great life Marcus, <laughs> Marcus has been on some cruise ships that me and you would, would we just wouldn't be allowed on that was work I work hard I, yeah. I work hard and, and, play, I, and play hard and I still that's, live frugally as well though bro that's, that's, don't that, get that, twisted that's, that's exactly how, that's exactly how the rich madame talk <laughs> I know bro I work hard play you hard you think I don't know bro <laughs> and, I, listen, and do you know what it is if everyone worked as hard as me they could be just <laughs> where I am it's a meritocracy that <laughs> we live in yeah <laughs> <laughs> sorry you're going too far <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dane, um, speaking of that, it reminds me of, uh, I listened to a recent episode of your podcast. In case you don't know, Dane, you got a podcast, didn't it? Um, Dane, Baptiste, questions, everything. Yep, yep. We've Mate, been on it. We've, oh shit, we have. We've hijacked an episode. You, you we've combined. Guys, we, yeah, we've combined. We've also, you, you guys are similar earliest alumni on the show yeah. as well, man. So. Sick, I, sick, I, I, sick. I renamed Howard. Re- from time oh, the Huzza yeah. Huzza is that yeah, you that named yeah. it that was name, me, the name is still yeah, holds to this day yeah it's nice because I feel like the pod's changed a bit now like before like it was yourself and Howard mm. and a guest now but I feel like it's it's evolved in time in terms of the energy that comes from Dane Baptiste questions of everything yeah man it's nice I guess it's become a natural part of my uh, creative matrix and uh I'm just more uncomfortable that I enjoy it. I enjoy the guests a lot more as well, man. And I, um, <laughs> man said, I hey, did he just say we were the first few guests? <laughs> yeah. Fuck, when Howard man. was booking it, he yeah. was bringing in my bridges. Yeah, yeah, I, was exactly. like, I see these guys which all the time. Is, which is very different to guests. That's fine. <laughs> so after Box and K come on, Howard, can no, we do no, better? No, can no, we just do, what the fuck is going on, Howard? <laughs> I see them rays every, every day. <laughs> Look, no. But now, obviously, I, I think I, I don't want to hear bear. Bruv. If I hear 
Give another fucking image. <laughs> I am going to lose it. Howard. Keep the man Dem, yeah? Keep Dem over Dem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that everything in it for you, Howard? <laughs> it's everything or everything, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not questioning everything. <laughs> it's uh, everything. Everything. No, but um, obviously, yeah, we've moved uh, to uh, the Sony uh, Studios in Northwest, Cheers. which is fine, which is a nice venue and stuff as well. We're in Northwest, did you say? Yeah. Where exactly? King's Cross. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So it's... Um, so we know where to hijack the mics and that. For come true, time. man. You mm-hmm. Come true. But you know, it's, I think I, when I say enjoying the guests, I think I'm a lot more comfortable with the uh, podcast. And uh, I think that energy is reflected. So people feel more relaxed in asking questions. And obviously, because I've asked so many questions for so long, then it, it means you're able to elaborate on a lot more stuff as well, which means makes a better conversation overall, man. So It's been a mad year, though. What's been your highlight? Of this year? mm Ah, oh, good question. Let's, let, not, let, it's been a lot of negative shit. Let's not mention oh, the we negative all, we shit. All, we all, yeah, we all have negative bit, shit. May, maybe a personal highlight and a hmm. or an actual big highlight. Uh, My, one of the highlights I'd say was was the summer. We had a great summer. I think the weather was really. It was nice a good summer, it. actually. Great fucking summer. It's fantastic, you know fantastic. Summer. It, was, it was a good summer. Uh, do you know what? I um, I went to Antigua this year. Jeez. Uh, that, was, that was that was a highlight for me, boy. I was, uh, I'd uh, been speaking to a friend uh, at a barbecue and he was like, look, man, just go all inclusive. Like, at the end of the day... We'll give you a passport. <laughs> some money. And he takes out a motion and all slides you, it all, to you. All you've got to do, comrade. <laughs> you go to Antigua now, there's a picture of Dane in yeah. some camo, camo like, outfit. Like, General Jean <laughs> Baptiste. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't I would, worry about I would it. Happily, it's a part of a new tourism I would, happily, dream. Rep- I would happily represent Antigua in anything, but um, yeah, that that was a highlight. <laughs> that was just like he was just right, throwing just, out. Yeah. So if the Amb- uh, Antiguan ambassador Listen, is listening, to, and so many so many countries are offering these things as well, but it's normally for like tax purposes for yeah, people that have like, like, been studying PPE money. But um, you could buy a um um. I heard you could buy a citizenship in Saint Lucia. Yeah, you can for about five hundred k. Yeah, yeah. You're not not just Saint Lucia as well. So there's a few Caribbean islands that are offering. Yeah, citizenship yeah. and investment. So my dad's yeah. from Antigua. Comes in K good. <laughs> 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 you don't look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, he is. He's definitely Antiguan, right? <laughs> he definitely is. What? Because I'm not. You don't think I'm born here? <laughs> <laughs> I can't be from here. <laughs> Let's not do that. When, <laughs> when I try to do the accent, like I have some like little jumped up kid, and he's doing the, the making. It's okay. My dad's Antiguan. <laughs> <laughs> I can, yeah. do, I can do shit Caribbean accents my dad's exactly. Antiguan that, that, that was cool though A because I hadn't been to the Caribbean for almost a better part of a decade so that was super fun and I realised the thing is about like the Caribbean yeah, is if you can get like so you can get like a speedboat from Antigua to like Dominica and get there in like an hour and one of the guys at the hotel where I was staying <laughs> nice for some he was saying he was saying that he, he bought a speedboat because I'm saying how big it, cause I guess it's probably the equivalent of like an automobile depending on what one you want because if you're just doing a run from an so hour run so what speedboat did you buy? I haven't got a speedboat yet <laughs> so I need to look into how to operate a speedboat but bro I'm telling you man I the idea that I could get like maybe a three bedroom house in the Caribbean and be able to travel between different islands when you're just going to go chill because I met a guy so out is there, that your retirement plan? basically I met a guy out there he uh, used to live in East he opened a bar in Antigua so he basically runs like a tourist bar it's literally right over looking at the beach. Do you know what's beach. so funny? I can imagine I can imagine Dane owning a bar for I a would. week. I, yeah. <laughs> for a week and then be like, okay, I'm done with these pussy <laughs> <laughs> Video calling me from Antigua. I'm done with these tourist pussy but, but the mentality is different there. <laughs> I, like, the first, I was there for a week, didn't look at my phone. Like, well, there's nothing to be upset about, man. There's, the water's clear, <laughs> skies are Do blue. Do you think you could... I, I've often thought about this, right? The sun's pink. I need to make sure we know. The sand is pink. Like on, the, on the southwest part of the island. Oh. Himalayan sand, pink salt and that. Yeah, oh. like that. Yeah. Mm. Do you know, um, I've, I've always thought about this, yeah? When you, you know when they're like, oh yeah, you get you make all this money and whatever, like, I still want to work. I know it sounds mad. No, no, it doesn't sound mad, it's, but it's, it's obviously because you want to have a sense of purpose, but... Bro, yeah, yeah, what, because what, I would wake up and then I'd be like, okay, I've done that, I've mm. done this, I've done... I'm... It's one of those things, though, isn't it? Like, some people want to have, like, this refuge that they go to, like, so they hit... Like, for example, there's some people I know that would just do, like, a year of work, six months off. Mm. Like, some comedians could do it, I guess. I bet it might do a, do, a, do a tour, yeah, and then take three or four months off. One of off. my friends is a musician, and he was just like, oh, yeah, like... Mm. This might be the last tour I'm doing. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, how long? How long have you been touring? He's like six weeks, and I was like, and that's what the work you're doing this year. Yep. But if you don't get on that bus and start singing, yeah. 
it was I was just thinking like you can't be moaning about like a few weeks work in a year trust you know? me like, yeah, trust yeah, me yeah like if it gives you a decent life I yeah. it, depends, it depends on the grind in it because as, as a singer you're in a massively saturated market in it so for yeah. you to get through to the point whereby you're even touring I guess it varies in it but I, I, I feel like but we've told Manga to sl- settle down now <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. The main, the, but the main thing is I guess for that kind of setup is that it's, it's the choice in it yeah. I think it's good if you want to continue to work but it's working your, putting yourself in a position whereby you have the choice mm. so if you're like, I want to work because it fulfills me. I'm gonna be real though. I gotta pay these bills. <laughs> I'm, gonna be, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be real though. If you're on a beach in um, Antigua looking over some pink salt, pink sand, <laughs> I'm gonna find it a bit hard to come up with funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> when you're on stage, like, you know, man, pink sand, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, when the sand is pink instead of yellow. <laughs> Someone, I can relate. <laughs> they're, but they're looking for comedy out there as well because obviously there's a massive. Well, a lot of places there are. Because there's a massive tourism industry there. Yeah. So you could, could be going out there entertaining people in that respect as well, innit? Like there's, there's men that do cruise ships, you know? Mm. Yeah. So, like, they do comedy on cruise ships. So, you do got to do two 40 minute sets, right? So, like, you do one and then there's a break and then you do another 40 minute set, yeah. I cannot think of anything worse, bruv. Really? Imagine dying on your ass. You are now on a cruise ship I've, with these, with, with all the punters. Maybe I'm a bit old school, but I think that's some, that can be for some. Not everyone needs it. Some of the best training. Some of the best training I did DJing was playing seven hour sets yeah. to nobody. No, and it's that, that stuff, you. it just gives you this but steel resolve. No, no, so that when you have two hours, you can come and smash Marcus, it. So there, is a, there is a big difference between comedy and DJing in a hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Because when people start going, <laughs> boo! <laughs> Not even the boo! <laughs> Not even the boo! <laughs> <laughs> But you can you can at least enjoy the music you're yeah, playing, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Like I don't like the jokes I'm telling when they're yeah, not bagging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what every I joke is. So you're bo- to... you're booing yourself. Why don't it's have to be, like... be me? <laughs> why did I write this? <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. What the fuck? Like you don't you don't even forget yeah. why it was funny. You're like, what the fuck is this guy? But at least when you're playing, like you go, do 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 we found love in an office man. And then like, yeah, like Boy, you know what I mean? I'd like, never claim I was the best DJ, but I had people straight up when I was back in the day just looking at me, standing in the middle of the dance floor, like, what the fuck are you doing right now? And you're there sweating through you draw for another tune, they're like, nah, you just gone worse, bruv. Oh, you no. get me? So I saw Christmas tunes. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't think they make them like they used to anymore. All I want for Christmas has to be in there. Okay, wicked. Uh, I think it's one more sleep with Leonie Lu- Leon Lewis's song. Okay, I think, okay. That's, I think that's underrated, man. We need, we need to start. Leonie Lewis is a national treasure, and we need to start celebrating her a lot more in this British society right here. Okay, way before Meghan was Marklin, <laughs> that was uh <laughs> brown skin. Light-eyed princess. And you can hear Leona Lewis's episode of D- Dame Bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You know when you're like, you're why is he bigging up someone? Ah, uh, episode 57. <laughs> nah, Le- Leona, if you are listening, then yeah, please do come on the show. But yeah, that, so them two tunes there. I think I like... I want to say... Oh, um, Merry Christmas by Shaking Stevens. No, do you know which one I like? That's, that's you know the... Is, is it... I think it might be Jagged Let it snow... Boys to Men. That's, mm. that's in there as well. Boys Come to, yeah, that's on, well. bruv. Yeah. The, Boys to Men and that Christmas episode when they were in Fresh Prince. It's one of the best Boys, it's, episodes ever, Boys yeah. to Men have just got jams though, innit? Like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Come on, bruv. Yeah, hey, play that song now, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck copyright. <laughs> it's made it I took every, a monetization off of all the videos, bruv. Every Christmas Fuck. cry ever since, yeah. Since the episode of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, every Christmas cry I've ever had to look at, I've always been like, I mean, it's a high, but... That's, I mean, the, that's the one here that... Here in Morris goes, Silent night, <laughs> holy night. Now people are like, shut the fuck up in this Waterloo station. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Ruining my fucking... Shut the fuck up, Mildred. What the fuck is this? <laughs> What's so silent about this night? Shut the... You have a silent night. Shut the fuck up. And on that episode, and on that note, guys, <laughs> and 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 that was the filtered version of Dame Baptiste <laughs> <laughs> joining us. Also, I also like just random uh, steel pan versions of Christmas carols as well. <laughs> okay, that's always nice. But, but, <laughs> right, the level of the, the level of steel pans has gone up, you know, because obviously we record this not too far from Nottingham Carnival, so mm. we hear them like rehearsing like during the summer and all throughout the year. Bro, I did not know the levels of steel pans got to. Like, they, they got bro. electric steel pans now. Isn't they, they, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's mad, bro. I don't, I don't know. I, what, seriously, what, what, yeah, but. 
no, it's like connected to electric. Like it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's Bruh, electricity. All That's I know cool. is the shit that they're doing is just unreal, man. Anyway, look, Dane, can you just let everyone know where they can find you and where they can find your podcast? Absolutely. Uh, yes. So uh, you can find me on all your good social networks if you put in Dane Baptiste. Uh, check out all of my comedy content and find out about more dates uh, for live shows. Uh, podcast with Dane Baptiste questions everything, which is available on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts from. Uh, and other than that, man, just uh, yeah, holler at me. I'm about scene. Mm. Also, uh, ain't got a clue. Pod is where you can find us on all social medias. Where can we find you, K? I don't know, bro. K a e k u r d. Man's going on like me. Ain't got new listeners every week. I'm Marcus Bronzy at Marcus Bronzy everywhere know where as to well. Fight me, they fuck on the streets, bro. You know, you know where to. If you don't know where to find me in 2022, bro, get out of here. Cut, cut. Catch right. him outside. How Catch about me that? outside, yeah. Um, we're about I'm to go in into streets. our Patreon special With now, isn't it? <laughs> so if you were a page of free quid, come over there and join us. If you haven't, find the link in the show description and we'll see you over there. Peace. Sealed. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>